What is going on, guys? DBG here. Today, we're going to be talking about new content coming tomorrow in NBA 2K24, my team. So what is coming in my team? It is going to be, obviously, we've seen the other content. We've seen the, like, Zion Williamson, the Jeremy Lin. Like, there's, I don't mind this. I actually don't think it's bad at all. I think it's a pretty good, honestly, batch of free cards. So, like the Spark set. You guys can see right here, I think it's a good set. Obviously, my head is covering Tyson Chandler, probably the best player in this set. But for me, I'm like, you know what? This is all right. But we're going to be getting playoff cards. And if we look at the playoff cards from last season, we got, or not last season, two weeks ago, we got some really good ones. We genuinely did. So they're going to be in the 23-24 season. I've got 10 of them here. Like, we got three Dark Matters, and we got um, three Dark Matters, I think it was three opals and four pink diamonds. What I'm guessing we get tomorrow is we're probably going to get what I would say is five dark, four dark matters or five dark matters, five opals. I'd say that is completely reasonable to get. It's completely reasonable to go and get ourselves that type of a haul. And the five dark matters, PJ Washington is going to get one. Like that is a given. But like we have to look also at teams that are out and cards 2K don't want to give us. Especially for the second round. So, we've you see this card right here? See this guy right here? This Jalen Brunson. So, the reason why we got, like, we got our freaking Opal Jalen Brunson is because 2K were waiting to give us a Dark Matter Jalen Brunson, which is going to happen. They'll be the same card, but one of those Dark Matters is going to be used on Jalen Brunson. I would be shocked if it's not. I would be absolutely, absolutely shocked if it's not used on Brunson. So, other teams that lost in the second round. Like, obviously, you can see here. So, the Knicks lost in the second round. Dante DiVincenzo is going to get a card. Whether it be an Opal or whether it be a Dark Matter, Dante DiVincenzo is almost guaranteed to get a card. I'm just trying to think of, like, guys that... Teams that went out and guys that might go and get cards because 2K don't want to give, like, hyped up players cards. Like, they can't give Jamal Murray a card because they already gave him one. But Justin Holiday? I don't see MPJ. MPJ sucked in the second series. Justin Holiday for balling out one of those games. Rudy Gobert is going to get one. Dark Matter Rudy Gobert, I think, is going to be a headline this. And I think tomorrow with Dark Matter Rudy Gobert and Tyson Chandler, it's going to be a pretty... It could be pretty nice. It genuinely could be a nice batch of cards. So obviously in the conference semis, the Thunder lost. I'm trying to think of what Thunder players. Lou Dort might go and get himself an Amethyst. Go and get himself an Amethyst. They lost in six. Lou Dort could. Isaiah Joe maybe. Obviously Josh Giddy's not. They're not going to give Chet Holmgren a card. I wish they would. But they're not going to give Chet a card. So I think we can count him out, to be honest. So I'm just trying to think what other players there are. So obviously, again, we can count out the Chet Holmgren fella. And then after that, we've got the Nuggets versus the Timberwolves. And I think giving Rudy Gobert an Opal or Dark Matter is fine. They're not going to give Carl Anthony Towns one. I doubt they're going to give Cat one. I highly doubt they're going to give Cat one. Um, Jaden McDaniels might get a card. Naz Reed for game one might go and get himself an Opal. He probably will get himself an Opal. So they are kind of the players I'm thinking from the West. From the East, Boston against Cleveland. Um, Donovan Mitchell literally just got a packable Galaxy Opal a few weeks ago. They're not going to give him a card. Um, Garland, I think. Garland was all right in the game they won, I think. But obviously that was series was 4-1. We've already got a Derek White card. They're not good. I don't think they're going to give us a Jalen Brown. Um, they might give us a Jalen Brown. Tatum, they're obviously not going to give us one. Um, and to be honest, I didn't watch that much of that series. It was just a formality. And then in the other series, which was New York against Indiana, Aaron Neesmith. Honestly, an Opal Aaron Neesmith would be a very, very decent player to get. I think the guarantee is going to be a DiVincenzo card, a probable Josh Hart card. Like we could see three Knicks. For 10 players, we could actually see three Knicks. We could see DiVincenzo, we could see Josh Hart, and we could see um, a Jalen Brunson Dark Matter. Because Jalen Brunson Dark Matter is going to happen. Like, that's just going to happen. There's no if ands, or buts about it. No one's ever going to open a pack for Jalen Brunson. You might as well make him a Dark Matter here. Maybe even make him the headliner. So, there are a few players that I'm like, we could get some nice ones. In-game, how many of these cards are going to be good? DiVincenzo is going to be good, but I'm not sure he's better. He's going to be better than Brandon Pajemski. Because like when defensive stats and everything come out. Like DiVincenzo was so good when he first came out in January. Because he had all the defensive badges and he could play offense. There were no card that had right stick ripper, clamps, 94 feet. Um, 
and fast feet hall of fame there was no guard that at all that was hall of fame that was competent on defense and not six foot tall other than dante divincenzo at the time which is obviously why we were so hyped about dante divincenzo um he'll still be all right he'll still be an all right card josh hart's gonna be a six four three small four power forward he's gonna be garbage in game um I'm trying to think of like who could be good I'm trying to think, like, again, who could be good that we get as far in-game goes. Like, obviously, OG would be good, but we're not getting an OG because he didn't do it. He was injured in that series. Um, none of Cleveland's bigger players. Justin Holiday's not going to be great. A Rudy Gobert would be really good. Rudy Gobert with a competent jump shot would be really good. Um, competent jump shot rating, because as bad as his jump shot looks, for some reason, he's got a good shot in 2K. Like, Rudy Gobert could be, like, one of the more fun cards. If they do go and give us another version of this guy right here, like, if they give us a second version of Jaden McDaniels, I'll take it. PJ Washington might be all right if he can play the three. Derek Jones Jr., undersized if they give him a card. Like, PJ Washington, again, is a guarantee to get one. If I hadn't said him, PJ Washington is a guarantee to get one. Um, Derek Jones Jr. might get one. Like, he definitely could get one. But, like, PJ Washington is, like, a fully guarantee. That man... Was the main scorer for the Mavs for a couple of games. But um, yeah, that is, that's the playoff set. The playoff set here was really, really good. Like two weeks ago, this was a really good set. Um, obviously, we got Westbrook on the same day and kind of overshadowed it. So we're going to be getting really good free content tomorrow. Like in general, is the game good? No, but at the end of the day, this game sucks. This game absolutely sucks. But if you're having fun playing it, that's fine. Like you can... <laughs> the game mode in its entirety is terrible but at the same time if you're saying that like you enjoy the game and you're not that you're okay with all the crap that 2k are pulling but if you're saying like look 2k's have kind of ruined this game but at the same time you know what i want to have fun playing this game i have so much like you got to respect that and for that reason like it's it's good that this content is here at least it's good playoff content at least it's something and if you are still playing this game, this is as good content as you're going to get. Because even in this set right here, he was a beast. He was a beast. He was a beast. So we still got three really good players. And if we even get three or four really good players in this set, I'm happy. Mainly because we're going to get a bunch of really good cards here. And maybe you can complete these challenges and get do stuff in these challenges to get some of these cards. If you can do something in those challenges to get enough for Brandon Pajemski and Tyson Chandler, maybe that's all you want. Maybe you don't want Zion. But um, look, it is what it is. It is what it is. And it's honestly looking like pretty good content. So yeah, I'm I'm happy out. There's no point complaining about this because I'm very happy with these cards. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.